Hello and welcome to Thought for September the 9th. Our readings are 2 Kings chapter 15, Ezekiel chapter 5 and Luke chapter 1. And our thought is, at the hour of incense. Today we begin reading the Gospel of Luke. A chain reaction of thoughts was triggered as we read of the dramatic appearance of an angel to Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist. All the people were praying without at the hour of incense, we read. Presumably this was the ninth hour, as we recall that Peter and John went up into the temple at the ninth hour, the hour of prayer, Acts chapter 3 verse 1. Wonderful things can happen when people pray, as we experienced recently. When Jesus was dying on the cross, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour, we read in Matthew 27 and verse 45. We realise that the ninth hour is 3pm on our clock, and we live in a world in which there has been spiritual darkness as to the meaning of life and the reality of God. At some point, that darkness will be dramatically lifted. But then, those who have not seen and acted on the light in God's word will find it is too late. The door will be shut, as the parable says. Zechariah was blessed, but he was struck dumb and mute. He was told his prayer had been heard, but he did not really believe, not until nine months had passed and the babe was born. Did he receive the ability to speak again? Then God used him as a witness that made all the people marvel, we read in Luke 1 and verse 65. And the event was talked about everywhere. So this chapter is about the drama of God's intervention in the normal course of events, and the effect it had. A great part of this is the faith of Mary, his mother, and the wonderful words she uttered. Today, it is now well past the 11th hour in the world's time clock, and the appeal to us is the same as when Jesus talks of the 11th hour. Let us respond to what he said in Matthew 20, verse 6. For the Master is looking for those who are ready to put their hands to the plough in the 11th hour. In contrast, there was no one willing to put their hands to work for God at the time Ezekiel was writing, chapter 5, as we read today. The way people lived then was the same as so many are living now, totally focused on themselves. The language Ezekiel uses exposes the total spiritual barrenness of the people with their misuse of God's magnificent temple. Today, nearly all misuse or ignore his word. God's message is, Because you have defiled my sanctuary with all your detestable things, therefore I will cut you down. My eye will not spare. I will have no pity. Verse 11. A divine prophet today would have a very similar message. We must read God's word more and more. And what meaningful lessons are in Luke's Gospel for the rest of this month? Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.